Hey guys, welcome to your um, general reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for your August 2024. You can apply this to any replacements because anything can come up. We are going to take a look and see what uh, you guys need to know for August and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius here. What does Aquarius need to know for August 2024? What does Aquarius need to know for August 2024 here for Aquarius? So we have self-worth. So this is about your self-worth here. Knowing that you deserve better, knowing that you do deserve good things in life, knowing, and this is about really just just the importance of self-love here, loving yourself, caring about yourself, nurturing yourself, nourishing yourself here, okay? So let's see what else we have. We also have compassion. Yeah, this is about, I do feel like someone here deals with, you know, insecurities here. Someone here just does not really feel good about themselves. Someone here lacks the self-confidence here. And I feel like with compassion here, someone here does not have compassion for themselves here. Like I feel like someone here is just really hard on themselves. Now Aquarius, this doesn't have to be you. It could be someone that you know that could be going through this or that this is someone that you are dealing with here. We have free spirit here. This is about freeing yourself from those self-fulfilling prophecies here. This is about Freeing yourself from those indoctrinations here that you've been indoctrinated with, that's not true, okay? We have believe. This is also about believing in yourself here and being fearless and doing the things that you want to do without these self-fulfilling prophecies and these indoctrinations holding you back here. Seems like, you know, with Awaken here, you have awakened to unconditional love for yourself here and self-worth here and compassion. What else do we have here for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know? Look out for work on for August 2024 for Aquarius. So Aquarius with the Queen of the King of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups. This is also sur about surrounding yourself with people here that support you. You know, surrounding yourself with people that believe in you here too. And I feel like with the Ten of Wands here, you know, some of you guys see yourself in these situations here, in these gatherings here, as a burden here. And I feel like, like I said, some of you guys look really down on yourselves here. And I do feel like someone here is definitely in the process of freeing themselves from this here. All right, we have the Ace of Wands here. Wow. Some of you guys are definitely find your sparkle, find your light here with the World card here and the Seven of Pentacles here. I feel like you guys are no longer wasting your time on self-hate basically. It is a strong word here, but yeah, it really comes down to that. Yeah, you guys are no longer wasting your time here. You guys are finding your lights, finding your spark here. I do feel like the self-worth really comes from all the pain, all the hurt, and all the suffering that you've been through here. Especially like going back to your childhood here. Okay, there's definitely a recognition and an acknowledgement towards that here. And I do feel like you've been working really hard in healing this and letting this go here. Yeah, I, I feel like you guys have dealt with, you know, grief, loss depression here you know uh, I do feel like some of you guys could struggle with 
you know, with your mental health here too. I mean, if this is if this is not you, I mean, like I said, this could be somebody else here. We have the Nine of Swords here, and the Three of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands here, and the Eight of Swords. Wow. When I see the Nine of Swords here and the Eight of Swords, this is very heavy energy here. I do feel like you guys have dealt with a lot of trauma in your home life here while growing up. You know, being told that you were not good enough, being told that you couldn't do this here. And I feel like those words really stuck around here. It really has, in a way, damaged your self-worth here. And I feel like, you're, like I said, you're trying to let that go here, okay? You're trying to release that here. Um, let's see what else we have here. Yeah, you guys are definitely working on your shadows. Yeah, you guys are going through a huge, huge, huge spiritual transformation. A major purge at this time here, Aquarius. That was Mother Earth. Some of you guys have a strained relationship with your mother here, with a mother figure. We have transformation. We also have self, shadow self here. You guys are working on your shadow side here. We have Mother Earth. Wow, this is a very powerful transformation here. You guys are definitely stepping into this new version of yourself here. Or that you guys are finding yourself again and stepping into this new version of yourself. We have the Three of Pentacles in the world. We have the Seven of Pentacles here and the Emperor here. Aries energy. Major level up, major glow up here. Well, I do feel like you guys have been working on yourselves for a very long time here, Aquarius. And I feel like it's really finally paying off here. Here's the thing. If you guys have had like relationship issues with a mother figure here i do feel like a lot of you guys have been you know kind of like in this pattern of looking for you know a partner that resembles like a mother figure here okay and i feel like in those instances it forced you to deal with the trauma of a mother figure not being present here okay and, and, and I feel like, you know, you were trying to mirror or mimic that relationship that was missing, you know, when you were growing up here. But yeah, I do feel like you guys are definitely coming out of what feels like perhaps a dark night of the soul here, okay? This might have been going on for a very long time, but I feel like you guys are definitely going through a powerful transformation here, okay? Yeah, look at that. We have the judgment card in the bottom of the deck here. It just seems like things are going to improve here and things will never be the same again here, okay? Things will never be the same again. So yeah, there's definitely a release that's happening here, all right? With the hangman here, Piscean energy. So, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.